we rarely go through a project and show really how it looked, you know, how the actual process of the project looked. But I thought for the design nerds out there, it might be interesting to see how a project goes from, you know, zero to being an app on the App Store. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Courtney. I am the co-founder of the design agency AJ and Smart. And today I saw that one of the apps we'd been working on for a little while just appeared on the App Store. And that app um, is Oak Meditation and it's the second version of it. So we helped um, redesign, uh, completely redesign the app from scratch over the last few months. Um, we spent maybe a total of four weeks on the project and it's really, really amazing to see it on the App Store. And I realized that throughout all of our videos and the things that we've been putting on YouTube and on Medium, we rarely go through a project and show really how it looked, you know, how the actual process of the project looked. And this specifically was an interesting one because it was almost completely done remotely. So we used design sprints, um, but we did it completely remotely. Um, from start to finish. So I thought it might be interesting to show you how that looks and I'm going to do it in a pretty lo-fi way. I'm going to do it in a screencast. This is not the usual um, AJ and Smart YouTube video, but I thought for the design nerds out there, it might be interesting to see how a project like this goes from, you know, zero to being an app on the App Store. Um, yeah, so we're all super proud that it's on the App Store. Um, it was a lot of work, but super, super happy to see it. It's always great to see your apps working. And we actually use this app as well, which is a great, great opportunity. Tiny bit of context. I met Kevin Rose. Um, Kevin Rose is the guy who created Oak, uh, Oak Meditation. We actually reached out to Kevin to ask him if we, if he'd be interested in us working on um, a couple of things that we thought could be improved with the product. Um, initially, our original project, so I, I was in San Francisco, I sat down with Kevin, um, we had a chat about all the different things we could do, and we decided on a sh just having a really small project at the start where AJ and Smart would uh, focus on dramatically improving one very specific part of the app. And that specific part was how you select uh, different types of meditations. It's a meditation app, by the way. Now, what actually happened is I went back to AJ and Smart here in Berlin and I told the team, look, let's, you know, Kevin wants us to, to change this one part of the app, but let's just go all in and let's aim for like completely ripping it apart and putting it back together um, within a one week design sprint. So let me show you how that actually happened. And let me show you how we got from start to finish. I'm even going to show you the, the programs we use. So the very first thing that happened was we did a kickoff call with Kevin. I think this was like the just the week before Christmas, you can see here on my screen. And how that looked was me and three other people interviewing Kevin Rose using the expert interviews technique from the design sprint to get as much information out of him as possible. And while we were interviewing him, we were creating how might we notes. And how might we notes are things that you can see in our other videos, but I'll also, also show you how they look here. So just to show you the kickoff call. Versus like say, that they have with yeah. plug, uh, pucks. Um, trying to think of things that... Uh... So you can hear while he's talking, we're writing. Um, so we did a, uh, you can see it's a one hour and 20 minute call with Kevin. Um, and while we were calling with him, we were adding the notes that we were getting from him to this real-time board. So real-time board was the collaboration software we were using. Um, so we were in-house at AJ and Smart, uh, the AJ and Smart team, we're all here based in Berlin, but because Kevin Rose is based in San Francisco, we had to do this completely um, manual or completely remotely. So while he was writing those things down, we were creating how might we notes and adding them to the real time board. So how might we make breathing very present? How might we? So there was a lot of different things um, that were kind of you know interesting um, that we were just able to collect as much information from Kevin as possible, and also in a standardized way so everyone on the team understands the notes so that we could also pass to uh, pass it to different team members within AJ and Smart if people were changing teams. Okay, so that's the first thing we did. We also then um, used those notes to create a 
the goal and sprint questions with Kevin in the kickoff call. So we kind of suggested what the goal could be. In two years, Oak is a platform for geeky mind hackers. It takes difficult (laughs) difficult to quantify practices like meditation and makes the results tangible. We also created the map, which you can see in the the design sprint. This really helped us to understand the flow of the product. Um, And what we also did with Kevin was we did the lightning demos exercise where we asked him to go and find a couple of products that he really liked and show them to us and talk about why he liked them so we can have an understanding also of subjectivity uh, when it comes to design. And we also went away and found a couple of dozen of products that we found really interesting and found could could help us uh, push us in the right direction. So the next step was we went away and we decided we came up with a couple of concepts. Now, at AJ and Smart, we always do hand-drawn concepts first, and we vote on these. So you can see the different hand-drawn concepts here. Uh, this is my one. <laughs> um, we even did some mood screens, but mostly what we did is we just, before we went into any effort in design, we sent him these hand-drawn concepts. And with these hand-drawn concepts, he was able to leave feedback in line exactly where um, where he what it, what he liked, what he didn't like, and he also voted. These red dots are from Kevin. We asked him to vote on the things that he liked so that we had an idea before we would go and design it. We had an idea of what kind of directions he liked, right? Um, we also shared, um, I created a Pinterest board of different moods that I felt he would like based on the first call we had with him. Um, and a lot of the things that I found here were different um, Japanese architecture, different um, uh, types of Japanese stationery, which I'm also obsessed with. And a couple of the color tones also came from this. So you see, maybe at this point, you might be wondering if you're a classic um, uh, designer, you might be wondering like, why didn't we talk about the user yet? That's a whole other topic, but in a lot of the projects we do, we're not interested in the user yet. We're making our own assumptions right now before we present things to the user. Yeah, I know that some people find that a little bit controversial. So a couple of the things in here, a couple of the color tones, a couple of the aesthetic directions were really, really interesting um, to us here at AJ and Smart, and we decided to use these as a basic outline. We also Um, We wanted to take the original app. The original app was all done in vector graphics and we wanted to replace those vectors with watercolors. And that's also something that Kevin sort of had a something he he wanted um, to to push in that direction as well. So watercolors were something we really, really wanted to focus on. Uh, And you can see like one example that we put together here just to, to show we wanted to lighten up the app. The app was quite dark as well. Okay, so we had the first we had these sketches then we had kevin um uh, rate the sketches and talk about them we also had him send us videos of him talking about the sketches as well so that we had an idea of what he was actually kind of liking and what he wasn't liking and then what we did is we uh, went ahead and created the first prototype so we went into figma so this is the figma app um and we created the very first um, prototype based so first we did a storyboard at in house I, I unfortunately can't find photographs of that um, and all of that was hand drawn and then from the storyboard we went step by step and created that storyboard in Figma completely different look and feel for the product um, originally we were just supposed to work on this one page but we decided to go all in um, sent that over to Kevin and then he was able to give us feedback by the way we're still in week one so this is probably just like day three of week one so he was able to, we were able to send him over this prototype as like, just to show you, it even has animations in it. Um, we try to make the prototype as realistic as possible so that the client, in this case, Kevin, actually can give real feedback and, and really can um, um, understand where we're going. I, I'll show you just an example of the feedback here. I, I really like how you have some room to provide some additional copy it makes these buttons and these disciplines feel more substantial when they're in bigger icons like that. Um, yeah, I think this is my favorite design. So we did a couple of um, different variations as well of the prototype. So he at least had the opportunity to choose, pick and choose um, a direction before we went all in. Just to show you again, this is Figma. Um, with Figma, we were all able to collaborate on the project. So by the way, even though I'm presenting this project, 
um, I didn't do all of the design work at all. Um, at the very start, I was kind of more like uh, working on the concept and on the, like the, the visual direction and the, just the product strategy. Um, but once that was done, the uh, designers at AJ and Smart, specifically Fedor, Tim and Rob, they took over and uh, started designing the screens. And these guys are really, really amazing at that. Um, in At the same time, uh, so one of the concerns that Kevin had, and I think you can see it here, a big problem I've had is finding decent illustrators. Um, so he was worried that, you know, he would love to do these illustrations, um, but he was worried that we wouldn't be able to find people to do that because he had trouble doing it. And so luckily, look here, you see it again, love this, but we'd need to find an illustrator. Luckily, a really good friend of mine is an amazing illustrator. Her name is Sarah Kilcoin. And I had her come over to the office, showed her the different directions that we were looking at. I showed her the Pinterest board, um, showed her the screens and the general concepts. And she just started painting some really beautiful hand painted work here. Um, 90% of what she painted didn't end up in the app because it's, you know, obviously pretty, we, we went through a lot of iterations, but what's in the app now, you know, the badges, everything is, is completely hand painted. And that's just something I'm super, super proud of. And she did an amazing, amazing job. Um, so Sarah joined the um, AJ and Smart side uh, to get these illustrations done. So Sarah Kilcoin, check her out if you need any illustration work done. Amazing, she's also Irish like me, so. Now, so what we had after a while, so we used placeholder illustrations. All of these illustrations we found, um, you know, on stock photo websites or on Google, and we just stuck them in. And we, we used those as like reference material until Kevin, ah, that's what the old app used to look like. So a bit more techy and a bit more dark and stuff like that. Still great, still great work, but we wanted to change it. So the final, um, so basically that the, at the end of the first week, um, we pretty much agreed on what direction to go in, what visual style. And then what we did is once we were like, once Kevin was like, yeah, that's how I want the app to look. That's how I want the app to work because we changed around the UX and UI of it completely. Um, once we agreed on all of those and there was a couple of system changes we needed to make, we completely redesigned the badge system and the progress system um, from scratch. Then what we needed to do is do every single screen so that it was deliverable to the developers. So we did every single screen in the app um, one by one. Actually, this is still not the final handover version, but it doesn't matter. Um, and yeah, so we even even down to the, uh, you know, acknowledgement screens and settings screens. Um, this was one of the early concepts where we wanted to have these bonsai trees, uh, all hand painted, hundreds of them. And in the, side, in the end, we decided not to go in that direction. Um, also, I have to say like really uh, working with Kevin Rose on this was such a pleasure because him as a designer himself, he was just able to make so many decisions with us as well. So after a while, he realized that he didn't really like the bonsai trees and they wouldn't scale. So we went for these more circular icons. Um, but yeah, basically the, the app went from, you know, hand drawn to high fidelity um, screens and prototypes within a very short amount of time. And I think in total, we probably put about you know, two weeks of intense concept work before we got to really the final, let's do this. And then probably another two weeks of creating all the screens. <laughs> Maybe there's like, um, you, oh yeah, for, for iPhone and for iPad. And you can see there's there's quite a lot of different screens here as well. Um, we tried quite a lot of different directions and the final version, um, super proud of it. Still a couple of things um, left to come out. <laughs> this is old town, nothing to see here. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much. Um, unfortunately, like I'm, I'm after losing a couple of uh, videos and a couple of things that I wanted to show. Um, but I think that gives you basically a little bit of an idea. So we used um, real time boards to work with the client and, and do all the voting, do all the post its uh, stuff, and and basically get everything in there. So we had one central place. Oh, sorry, there, there was one other thing. We did also use Basecamp. So we used Basecamp at AJ and Smart um, to keep the updates very clear and transparent between, um, yeah, basically between us and between Kevin. But that's not like super, super interesting. So yeah, we went from start to finish. Then we started de uh, delivering to Taylor, the developer. She's also really, really amazing. And um, yeah, now I'm holding it in my hand. Uh, it's only been one, two, three, four months since the start of the project. Um, so super, super quickly getting on the App Store 
Um, it's yeah, it's really really cool. So that's just a little bit of a glimpse into doing a remote design sprint. I know I'm leaving a lot out about how the exercises actually worked in house and stuff like that, but I just wanted to give you kind of the key points uh, of how that worked. So we kind of facilitated the entire thing um, and just helped Kevin go step by step so it just wasn't completely random. Um, yeah, but that's basically it. That's Oak. I hope you check it out. I hope you like the new version of it if you're already using it. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Wow.